Researchers for years have been trying to determine what causes crashes, and we now know that driver error and distraction plays a big part of it. Researchers who look at distraction put distraction in one of three areas. There's visual distraction when we take our eyes off the road, mechanical when we take our hands off the wheel, or cognitive when our brain is not engaged in the task of driving. We as people, as drivers, know when we're visually or mechanically distracted. So we limit the time. We don't do it for long periods of time. You know, if we're eating a hamburger or fumbling with a briefcase or purse or backpack, we do it quickly. We don't do it for a long period of time. We do not understand when we're cognitively distracted. You know, by definition, our mind is detached. It's in another place. It's in another conversation. It's not in the current environment. So the result is it lasts a lot longer. And it also results in this thing that researchers refer to as inattention blindness, or looking but not seeing. We've got examples of drivers in simulators who are on a cell phone, and they look straight ahead, and they run right through a red light. And at the end of, of the session, we ask them, how was your driving? Oh, it was perfect. Well, did, how about that red light you Ryan? What red light? I didn't run a red light. So they don't even know that it happened. Uh, it's like trying to watch a television show and talk to somebody on the phone at the same time. Our brains don't multitask. We can't do both. We've got to choose one activity over the other. And, you know, most of the time driving is pretty inconsequential. You know, it's kind of boring. But some of the time, the decisions we make, our life depends upon, or somebody else's life on the roadway with us. And when that happens, we've got to have our full faculties.